Hello and welcome to the Them Frames YouTube channel. I'm Dan Jin and today we're going to be talking about if Columbia is safe for street photography. Now guys, just before we get into it, if I could kindly ask you to please subscribe to the channel. If you like the content, hit a like. And if you want to share what your thoughts are about the content I'm creating, then leave a comment down below and uh, let's get more interactive and then more people see it and I'm more happy, basically. Now you may have noticed from my previous videos, I've had a beard trim. No one cares if you've had a beard trim. Fair enough. Let's get into it. Okay, so I first came to Colombia in 2020, just before the old bad thing happened. And I remember when I first got here, I'd, I was, I'm pretty well traveled by this point. I'd been to India, Asia, most of Europe, other parts of Latin America as well. So when I first got to South America, I, I was pretty well versed to the culture and kind of what life is like. But of course, Colombia comes with a lot of negative press. And personally, I think that's unfair. But when I first got here, I heard all these horror stories about, you know, people take your life for a dollar and so on and so on. To a point where it kind of impacted me, where I wasn't prepared to go out with my camera. You know, I had my Fujifilm X-T2, I had a couple of lenses, and I thought, I didn't want to lose them, you know? And I certainly didn't want to get hurt or anything like that in the process. But then I came to this realization that if I'm not out making photographs or I leave my camera at home when, when I go outside, then my camera's pretty much as good as stolen anyway. So I've been coming back to Colombia on and off for the past few years. And it was probably in 2021 and more so in 2022 where I just started to shoot like I would normally. You know, I didn't want to feel restricted. I of course paid attention, but I wanted to find out for myself because I've learned in life that when bad things happen, humans tend to really zone in on the bad parts of a place. And they also generalize and think, well, if bad things happen in certain areas, then it must be the whole country that's dangerous or the whole city that's dangerous. And with experience, I've come to realize that's just not true. So I shoot street photography every day. I'm currently in Bogota and I would, before that I was in Medellin, in Antioquia, and every day I would go out with my camera. Now everybody's experience is different. I know there's people who've obviously been victim to, to theft, I know that does happen, but from my own personal experience, I've never had a problem. No one has tried to steal my camera. I try and be streetwise, you know, I, I obviously err on the side of caution. I'll give you a quick example. I was in Rio Negro, uh, which is a small town in Antioquia, a couple of weeks ago. And some guy, as I was passing with my camera, he said, how much is that camera worth? Now, this could have been an innocent question, or it could have been sizing up, you know, is it worth taking? So I said, oh, this is about 30 years old, this camera, which is not true. The Fujifilm X-T2 is around about nine years old, maybe a bit less. Um, and I said, it's probably worth about nothing nowadays. No one would even buy it, I said. And then I went about my day. Uh, so it was all about kind of making it unattractive for someone to want to take it from me. But yeah, there are certain areas, obviously in Colombia, like there are in London, like there are in New York, like there is in Paris, that you would want to avoid. And, you know, they tend to be the central areas, you know. Central areas are more built up, you get more diverse characters, there's a, a, a lot more, there's a lot more opportunity for someone to take something from you and kind of get away with it because there's so many people around that, you know, it can be gone in, in uh, a quick flash and, and they go about their day. So I tend to stay away from kind of built up tourist areas because also tourist areas, of course, there's more tourists there. So there's more opportunity for someone to steal something. So I stay away from there and I tend to go into the smaller parts of the city, the quieter parts of the city where you just tend to find local, normal, everyday people that want to go about their lives without any trouble. For example, in Medellin, I stayed in Envigado, which is south of the city. And it's a pretty middle-class area. 
everyone there has got you know a nice home and a nice life and I could go around every day making photographs and quite frankly people in Colombia are curious they're very friendly they're, they want to know what's going on, but in a nice kind of way. So people would ask me, you know, what are you doing? Why are you making photos? Where are you from? And things like that. And really, not only have I felt safe in Colombia when doing street photography, I've actually had one of my more pleasant experiences I find in London, although people don't tend to care too much, but they, they, you get a lot of funny looks and a lot of you know, um, remarks here and there in, in, in built up cities. Whereas in Colombia, you know, sometimes they'll just involuntary pose for your camera, even if you're not necessarily taking a photo of them. And just the vibe is, is very good. In Bogota as well, uh, there's round Parque 93, which is um, Park 93. It's a very nice area, very well to do. And, you know, people are minding their own business. There's a lot of like, professionals in that area so it's if you want to make photos of people in the business world it's, it's a good place to go and it's a good place to visit and it's a good place to hang out and also in Colombia there's a lot of uh, pueblos which are small little towns uh, there's Hardin, Guatape, Jerico there's 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 in the smaller towns they don't really care about you they just go about their lives they're not interested in all this technology and things like that and it's also a good place to photograph what I wouldn't photograph in Colombia is the police. In fact, in, in a lot of the Latin American countries, it's a good idea if you're a foreigner not to photograph law enforcement. First of all, they're not that interesting. They're just there keeping an eye on the world. And also, you know, in, your own, in a foreign country where you likely don't speak the language as you do speak English, you know, you're more susceptible to them taking advantage of you. Um, now that's never happened to me in Colombia, nor has it happened in Mexico, but I have heard stories where police will bribe tourists to get a bit of money out of them. So I'd stay away from law enforcement. Anyone that's homeless, I mean, in general, I wouldn't photograph homeless people anywhere in the world, but anyone that's homeless, anyone that's desperate, I'd just be mindful and stay away from them. But as a general rule, you can go around and you can make photographs in Colombia. I've been in many different places, Bucaramanga, Medellin, Armenia, Cartagena, Santa Marta, Bogota. And I've been able to do what I love doing with no problems at all. Now, what do you do if you do get confronted? Well, I would say this, I would deal with it differently to how I deal with it, say, in my home country in England. Because the consequences can be more extreme in a country like Colombia. I do hear of people getting held at gunpoint or knife point. And although it's not every day, it can happen. And the consequences of fighting back uh, could be more severe than an altercation in, say, New York or London. So if someone does say, hey, give me a camera, Although there may be that ego in you to be like, you can't take my camera. Your life's worth more than a piece of hardware, I would say. And that's not to say that everyone who tries to rob you in Colombia is going to kill you or is going to harm you. But it's always best to just think of the worst case scenario, give up your camera, run if you can. If you can run, sprint away. But don't start getting defensive, don't start getting into an altercation because... There's a chance they might have something in form of a weapon which you don't have and the consequences could be there. But Colombia is a beautiful country. It's probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life and it's got some of the most beautiful people that I've ever met. And it's a welcoming country. You hear all the stigma, you hear all the problems in the 90s and it's easy to let that take over and stain your idea of a nation. Ignore that. Go from your own experience. Of course, be careful. Of course, be cautious. And, you know, I've got a small camera. You know, try don't hold it out here, there and everywhere. Just be mindful like you would anywhere in the world. But don't come to Colombia and think you can't make photographs because it would be a real shame if you didn't. It's one of the best places I've ever been to. I love being here. I'm sad I'm gonna have to leave. 
and I love making photographs in Colombia. So is Colombia dangerous for street photography? I'm gonna say no. If you take care of yourself, if you go to the right areas, if you avoid the areas you shouldn't go to, don't go to areas and think it's really cool to be around poverty. It's not cool, it's not clever. You're not showing anything off to anyone. So just go to the nice areas where you can be safe, where you can be free from harm, and you'll still be able to make an awesome range of photographs. Guys, if you are liking this content, do me a favor, please subscribe to the channel, hit a like, hit a comment. Have you made photographs in Colombia? Let me know what the experience has been like for you. Share some of the photographs, hit a link to your website, I'll go take a look. We do interviews on themframes.com, so if your work's cool, we may get in touch for an interview. Until next time, this is the Them Frames YouTube channel. I'm Dan Jin. See ya.